And this year is the 50th anniversary of Winter Study. And I wanted to coincide with that. We, they go out there in the dead of winter to study the wolves and the moose and their interrelationship. And I thought, well, that would just be a wonderful thing to do. And I put it on the back burner, and I did the other books, and I did another book, and I did that. So when I came back to this, I wanted to do it for a number of reasons. One, it was the 50th year. Two, it was one of the things I love to do. You know, you notice I, I haven't written about Yellowstone or, you know, lots of different of these crown jewel parks that we all love. I like to go places and take you guys places that you don't normally get to go. So I really wanted to do winter study on that town. And the other thing I wanted to do is, if you're mystery readers, you will understand this passion of mine. I love mysteries. I read them like other people eat Doritos, or one after the other. I've read all of Wilkie Collins a couple of times, all of Agatha Christie. In fact, Agatha Christie has used up every single plot years before any of us were ever <laughs> uh, All of uh, Sherlock Holmes. And in Firestorm, I got to do the locked room mystery. You know, the speckled band. Nobody can get in the room. Nobody can get out dead body. But with I Royal, I thought if I could do a winter study one, the Victorian house snowed in, you know, all the party people there, nobody can get in, nobody can get out, the servants magically exonerated <laughs> on some level. And so I thought, okay, this is how I want to come back. I want to come back with winter study. And so I started my um, campaign of, of wheedling and begging and pleading. 